Hey, what's up guys? Grizz here. Hope you guys are doing well. Well, in today's video, we're gonna check out Super Mario Brothers for the Mattel Intellivision. Do you know what the Intellivision is? If you don't know what the Intellivision is, it's a console released by Mattel, the toy company, back in 1979. It was released as a competitor to the Atari 2600. I think most people today would probably be hard pressed to tell the difference between the two consoles, but the Intellivision's claim to fame was that it had slightly better graphics than the Atari 2600. Especially when you look at the game we're gonna check out today, Super Mario Brothers for the Intellivision. This is just a demo of a game that is supposed to come out sometime in the future. This demo was released by Matthew Keel back in 2021, and I did not initially cover it because I was gonna wait for the full version to come out so that we could take a look at it in like a scripted video. But now I'm starting to doubt that that's actually gonna happen. I looked at Matthew's YouTube page, and he's got a lot of projects going on there. Coupled with the fact that Nintendo seems to not be happy with anyone doing this kind of stuff, I doubt that the full game is actually gonna come out. I mean, I would love to be wrong, but in today's video, I wanna check it out. I wanna see how much of the game is actually here and what it's actually like playing Super Mario Brothers for the Intellivision. That's gotta be nuts. If you enjoyed this video at any time, make sure to leave a like on it to let me know. It really helps out the channel if you do that. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I do all sorts of odd and obscure Nintendo stuff, so if that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's jump into Super Mario Brothers on Intellivision. So here's the title screen right here. This looks a lot like the actual game. That is so cool. It's got the logo there. One and two player game. Wow. So I am not playing on an actual Intellivision. I'm using an emulator. I'm using Jay-Z INTV emulator and an actual NES controller. The Intellivision controller had this weird dial thing on it and all these buttons. It looked like a telephone. I couldn't imagine playing Super Mario on that. So I'm pretty happy to be using this. I wanted to give you guys my real reaction, so I didn't play much of this at all. But yeah, we'll start a new one player game here. Wow. Little Goombas. The mushrooms there. Oh! Oh, I got it. Everything is just how you remember it from the real game. Mount's a little lower on those. Let's see if the one-up's here. Yep. Looks a little lower than the original game. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, you can get firepower. That's so cool. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. That thing launches that star out. It's got the music, too, for the star. It's got, like, everything. Oh. All right, level one one's down. I like how the time and the coins and stuff come only when you finish the level, so it doesn't block much of the actual screen. That's a really good idea. I like that. Oh, I got hit. This runs at such a good frame rate, too. And it controls just like you'd expect. It's very close to the original game. Let's see if we can go down here. Oh, you can. Who kind of sucked me in there. I can't believe how detailed Mario is for as few pixels as it is. That is so interesting. Or how complete this is. Let's see if the minus world is here. I don't know if this is actually an actual port 
from the original code. I don't, I think this is actually made in basic. Like a rewrite. Which is insane in itself. I guess it's compiled basic. So it's actually faster than normal basic. It does not look like we can do that. Yeah, I don't think it's in this game. I better get going. Let's just play through all the levels. I look like there was actually a warp zone there, but let's just play through all the actual levels and see what's all here. Oh, it's got fireworks! All right, one, three. I always love these levels. These were always some of my favorite ones. Oh, I should have got the power up over there. All right, we beat one three. We're at the castle now. I wonder what Bowser looks like. There we go. Those things are oh, almost invisible. They're a little bit hard to see. But it's my understanding that those things are actually kind of hard to program. Because it takes a lot of sprites to drive those. Oh, <laughs> Bowser. What happened to you? What'd they do to you? Die. Oh, Toad! Our princess is in another castle. Alright, so it's more than just the first world. I wonder if the coin heaven's there. Looks like it. Let's get up there. Oh! Looks like the platform's glitching or something. Whoa! Oh, I just got one. Let's see how this works. I mean, it's functional, yeah. You just hold the button down and then it bounces. Alright, another level down. World 2-2. Two, two. It's got the swimming levels too. Mario looks like a mermaid. This is so impressive. Makes me want to get an Intellivision again. Play this on there. Whoa! Get sucked down a lot quicker than normal. Was not expecting that. All right, two, three. The flying fish level. Whoa, these guys seem a little, a little janky here, a little dangerous. Oh, ah, uh, he bit me. I am just gonna try to avoid these guys. These are way more difficult than the actual game. They just. Pop up out of nowhere! Jeez, man! I need to power up. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, come on, man. These guys are tough. Ah! Wow. That difficulty just shot up. Come on, stay away from me, guys. Yes. All right, we're at the castle. Ooh. I'm gonna be really careful not to die here, so I'm gonna probably go a little slow. I wanna see the end of this. Yeah, we got him. Thank you, Mario. But our princess is in another castle. World 3-1. The music is so spot on, too. It's so similar to the NES. I didn't know the Intellivision could make music like this. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Invincible! No! Oh! It didn't stop me! Normally when you run into the springs, it stops you from running. What the heck? How am I supposed to do this? That's insane! Jeez. No! I really needed that. Oh! Oh, it's tough! Alright, when he jumps is when I'm gonna go. Because that's when there's a break in the waterfall of hammers. Go! Yes! Hopefully I can secure an extra life soon. What the heck was that? I just fell right through! Can I do the trick here? No. I used to have quite the Intellivision collection myself, including games like Stadium Mud Buggies, but I never really played it much, so I sold it to someone who would appreciate it more than I would. It's what you gotta do sometimes. Yeah! <sighs> okay, we did it! All right, another level down. All right, here we go. This is one of my favorite stages in the whole game. Right here. Whoa, it's even got these things. And they work well. There we go. We're to the castle. All right, another Bowser stage. Whoa. 
Get past these. Get past these. And jump on past these. Hop past these fireballs. Whoa, that was really low. Oh no. Oh, get him. Oh, game over. Can we hit A start? Damn. Okay, I'm gonna get back there real quick. Alright, it's warp zone time. Welcome to warp zone. We're back to the dungeon now. Get past these. Jump past these. No! Oh! No! Alright, I gotta be more careful. This is so difficult. My eyes are kind of seizure-y. Alright, here we go. Jump over the fireballs, duck. Oh, come on! Get out of here. Stay over there. Oh, come on! Normal Bowser doesn't fire him like that. Whew. Okay, gotta keep my calm here. Gotta keep my calm and just do the best I can. Just gotta stay big. Just gotta stay big here. And everything's gonna be just fine. If I can hit Bowser when I'm big, then it won't matter. No. Oh, yeah. I don't even know if I can duck under that one. Oh, well. See you in hell. All right, we got past that. Here's 4-1. Oh, look at Lakitu. The cloud's just like, eh, whatever. Alright, 4-2. Should we see if the warp zone's there? I'm tempted. Let me know in the comments if we should do the warp zone. Should we do the warp zone? 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 Do the warp zone? Should we do the warp zone, guys? All right, guys, you did it. Let's do the warp zone. You can't just walk by the warp zone and not do it, okay? It's too tempting. Alright, let's warp to level 8. World 8. It's <gasps> a trick. It was a trick! I've been tricked. Was it a trick? Or was that the end of it? Where it didn't go up that high. I need to find out. 
So I looked it up and every level is actually in the game, but there are some bugs in it. And that was a bug, I think. So that is Super Mario Brothers for the Intellivision. That is surprisingly complete for being just a demo. It's too bad we didn't get to see the ending, but if this actually comes out as a full version, I will do a complete, like, scripted review of it. But I wanted to make sure we did at least a little video about it like we did today. Checking it out and seeing what it's like. It is a lot of fun. This game rules. Though, like I said, I can't imagine playing it with that Intellivision controller. That thing does not seem like it would be good for a platformer, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. I never tried to play Super Mario Brothers with it before. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it to let me know. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. I do all sorts of odd and obscure Nintendo stuff on this channel. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this or even better ones than this. And hit that notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. I got a lot of stuff coming up that you're not going to want to miss. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.